Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check it out. I've got this, the Dashibo GA800. It's a uh, goozy goo or whatever pronounce that, but it's a active loop antenna indoors, which is kind of cool. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing. It's not terribly large. This again is something to be used indoors. Then once we get it hooked up here, we'll fire it up. I want to play with it. It's been a while. So that's exactly what we're going to do with this thing today. We're going to play with it. All right. Just getting everything out of the box here. Not a lot to it, which is nice. No setup anyway. We have our base here. And there's some instructions on the back here. GA800 multifunction active loop. Loop size is 280 millimeters. Working frequency is 10 megahertz all the way up to 159 megahertz. And it uses a five volt uh, USB power source, which of course I don't have. So I'll have to grab something here for that. It does have a 20 dB gain on it and it is 50 ohms. Oh, it's battery powered too, it looks like. Let's see here. Oh yeah, okay. So that's just to recharge it. I was gonna say that's kind of a bummer. But that's 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 way more awesome. All right, so let's hook this thing up, and there it is. And of course, this thing, even when it's locked in, can be rotated because if you know anything about loop antennas, well, sometimes you got to do that. That gets the best signal possible. The other side here, we have a variety of connections. Um, this one here is just an extension cord, really. Then we have BNC to BNC, and then this one is BNC to. Uh, 3.5 millimeter we'll try that one as well then we even have a bnc to like those little um, kind of like wi-fi antenna i don't know what that one's called but four gig wi-fi and this is an extension cord and so reading this here the ga800 is a new product and the main body of the power of the antenna has the power control unit and there is an outdoor antenna here however if you wanted to you could have an extension and put this outside. So this is waterproof or waterproof-ish. So if you want to put this outside, which would of course give you much better range, you can do that. But if you want to use it indoors, you're also able to do that. And of course you can also use this as an extension for any of these connectors as well. So pretty cool. All right, well, let me pause the camera. I'm going to get the uh, before and after. So I'm going to unplug it. We'll plug it in, turn it on and see range increases as we go through that. Let's do it. All right, so I've got this thing here. This is the Grundig uh, Eton 750 satellite. Excellent, uh, excellent radio. If you've never played with one of these, you really owe it to yourself to do so. And I wanna set this thing up. Uh, we're gonna put it in an external antenna. And mid-wave antenna is this one here. And this is BNC to BNC. So I'm gonna hook that up to this. Of course, we're gonna leave it off. I'll switch between the internal antenna on this and the external, just to give you an idea of the differences you're likely to see when using this loop antenna. Okay, plug that in there. Plugged in that in there. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this unit on. And I'm going to type in our local. So I've got this, I've got this, I'll, I'll unhook it so you're not confused here, but I'm going to punch this into our local station. Okay, and let me turn the volume up here. Okay, so I am getting a very faint signal. Honestly, I forgot on this unit, if you're going to use mid-wave, the actual plug you want to use is up here, medium wave, right? So let me switch back over and we'll go back into it. So let me go back over. Okay, so that is a... Right there. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see the meter here, but. Right. 
turn it off and signal just absolutely disappears on that thing. So I would say that's a pretty cool little toy. All right, I gotta be careful with that one because it's uh, playing uh, copyrighted music. Yeah, so, okay, so on uh, AM, you know, broadcast AM, mid-wave or, or medium wave, uh, basically, I would say it's it, it improves it some. On the LC90, it improved it incredibly. On this radio, I think the built-in antenna may, may be just as good. But it's really, you know, active loop stuff here. And it says 2 megahertz that so we're already, we're, we're trying to use it for below what it's actually used for. Let me go ahead and move it over to shortwave. I'm going to punch in se um, 7490. should be broadcasting right now. So let's go into shortwave. 7490. And um, going to unhook this. Going to go with just the internal antenna here. Let's turn that up. So we have a signal. All right, internal antenna. Um, weak, but kind of hear it. Switch over to external antenna. We got nothing. Got to hook that up. Okay, so definitely an increase. Definitely an increase. Um, is it going to perform as well as it would if it were mounted outdoors? Absolutely not. In fact, let me go ahead and turn this off just to save my batteries. In fact, I would say that um, it's, it, I mean, it's definitely better than the standard antennas on these by a little bit because it's a loop antenna and, and they do tend to perform slightly better, especially on the short wave bands, maybe not so much mid wave, although I have some medium wave or mid wave stuff that, uh, that it, I do have a, an antenna that does work really well for that somewhere around here. This is more for short wave. Uh, and I think it, it definitely is increasing the performance. I've got another Gazugu or whatever the name of this thing is that is outside. I've made a video on, I'll leave a link to it in the description down here at the bottom. And that thing is an outdoor antenna. It is not amplified. It's just a passive loop antenna. But I have found it to be awesome. I have it hooked up to a um, realistic DX394 in my in my house. And I listen to it quite a bit in the evenings. And it's pretty good. It, it Actually, the noise floor is pretty low with that thing, too. So anyway, this is the Gazugu GA800 active loop antenna. A little more powerful. Think of this as like a MLA30. Um, they, uh, you know, they're powered as well. They go outside. They're not very, they, they work great, but they're very cheaply made. They're just like a very thin wire. This thing certainly has some more stout and girth to it. I bet, I bet this thing will do well. And what I'm considering already, because I kind of dig it, is using that extension cord and mounting that up here. I don't have a dedicated shortwave antenna outside of the studio here yet, but I think you're looking at it. <laughs> and so I think that's exactly what I'm going to do is hook this up hook it up to the power box, put that part up on the roof, and um, <clears throat> then get a, an extension to run it from, from something like that to the radios that I love to play with here on the channel. I'll leave a link to where you can pick one of these up. Also, like I said, the other larger active loop version. And I will see you all next time. Take care.